Omo ijo mimo alleluia alleluia Thank God for keeping us alive this morning for bringing us into his presence and making us a living soul this morning we pe ogo ni foruko oluwa loki orun hallelujah proverbs 25 verse 19 who is reading for us proverbs 25 verse 19 providence and unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken teeth and he put out of joy. Hallelujah. Confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble. The text we are reading is showing us, is pointing at a certain sin. Because without the sin, you would not know either a man is faithful or unfaithful. Neither would you know the quantity of your confidence in a man. Such a person would have been having confidence in different kind of man. But it is only in time of trouble you would know who the man is. Maybe, for example, you have seven men who you put confidence in. They are my friends, they are my pals, they are my... Name them, associates or whatsoever. But when time of trouble comes, then you will know that the first, the second, the third person, they are unfaithful. Why the fourth, the seventh? They are, they are faithful people. They are faithful friends. <laughs> what am I saying? You would only know who a man is in time of trouble. Looking at yesterday's chapter, in one of the verse, in verse 16, the Bible said, that was Proverbs Proverb 24. No, verse 10, sorry. Proverbs 24, verse 10, he said, if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. Bringing it together with this lesson, verse 19. Confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble, in time of adversity. Look at what the Bible, look at the example the Bible set for us. It said, it's like a broken tooth. And a foot out of joint. Two good examples. A broken tooth will disfigure the mouth. A foot out of joint cause pain for the body. Hence, put the body in discomfort. What do I be telling us? Your confidence in an unfaithful man, you rather put you in big problem. Even than the present pro- tr- trouble you are. Unfaithful, Allah is not truthful, he's not faithful, he's not loyal. Such a person will say, Oh, it is morning already. You have to go out and check. How true is it? That are we truly in the morning or we are in the afternoon? Now the big question. What kind of person are you? Are you faithful? Are you unfaithful? As a wife, can your husband trust you? As a member, can I trust you that you are faithful? Even when there's a problem, you know what to do. Even when my eyes are not with you where you are presently, I know you will not do things that you are not taught. You exercise yourself in the teachings you have received from us. Are you faithful? 
How faithful are you? That's a big question. This day we have men, we have people parading themselves as Christians, as Celestials, that are not faithful, disgracing themselves as Celestials, as Christians, disgracing themselves as disciples of Christ, disgracing themselves as end time soldiers of Christ, whereas they are doing things that are not of God. Look at Sunday second lesson, Matthew 11. That's the last two verse. He said, learn of me. When you talk about learning of me, we are talking about carrying the full person of Jesus Christ. You may not have much time to discuss, to explain what that line is. Learn of me. Learning of me signifies studying who that person is, then putting on everything about that study of that person on yourself. Christ is very truthful. Then you teach yourself to be truthful. Christ is filled with humility. Then you teach yourself to be humble in your ramification. Christ is streetwise. When he went to the temple, he saw them selling and buying in the temple. He never asked them, please, can you please leave the temple for us? You know, these days we have stupid Christianity. That, that is our stupid language. Can you please know? Oh, but what you would be, but hey, serious. In terms of having the talent, you too, you must put on that hammer. Yes. Because a time will come in your life that you need not to put please. You have to exercise yourself in that line. Christ is faithful. His yes is yes, and his no is no. You too, you must learn that line. Because if you don't, Sorry to, sorry to tell you that somebody somewhere is also putting confidence in you. So when time of trouble comes, that person will run to you to ask for help. Then who you are will be shown in such a time. Who you are will be displayed in such a time. Your response to that person will tell if you are faithful or unfaithful. Today is a great day. Those six days to, to end this month. How faithful are you? Because it is in your faithfulness you know what to do when God visits you. Maybe your own visitation will come up after today. Your faithfulness will show. Your faithfulness will help you in time of visitation. But your faithfulness will cause pain and discomfort for you. I pray this day that they are to be faithful, to walk in the teachings we have received in this journey. The Lord will stop on us in Jesus' name. Lord God, Jesus Christ, O Lord,